Okay, everyone. So here are the answers to the various puzzles. And uh, we'll go to the first slide. So this one was... A sec, there's something on my Zoom being a pain. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so this one was white to move and checkmate in one. And the simple answer, hopefully, was that the rook needs to go to the square d8. And that's checkmate along the back rank. The rook attacks the king. Nothing can take the rook. Nothing can get in the way. And these three pawns black, uh, block, I should say, the black king's escape. So rook to d8, that's puzzle one. Would have got you one point. The second one was black to move and checkmate in one. And this time the answer is queen from c6 to g2, which attacks the white king. The king has no way to escape and you cannot play king takes queen because the bishop on b7 is defending the queen. And of course, you can't put your own king into danger. This third one was two points. Now, I think some people would have put queen takes h7, thinking it was checkmate because the bishop supports that square. But in fact, the black knight would take the queen. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it would actually be checkmate the next move because you could play knight to f7. But the correct move is actually knight to f7 straight away. It's already checkmate. Uh, but I will give you a point because queen takes h7, knight takes, and then knight f7 is actually still checkmate. So two points for getting the right move, knight f7, uh, one for queen h7, because it's not quite as quick, but it does work. This one. Now, the point here is that white has got these weaknesses on the white squares that are around the king. And the bishop here is pointing down this diagonal, guarding g2, guarding h1. And so knight to h3 by black attacks the king and the two escape squares are both defended by the bishop. So knight to h3 would have got you two points. This is a very tricky one. Um, perhaps three points wasn't very generous for this. But the key move here, or the key point is that the rook and the king are on the same file, same line. And so the white queen cannot legally move because it would be rook takes king. And so queen to h4 is check, attacking the king, also attacking the queen. As I've just said, queen cannot capture here because rook takes king, obviously, so it's illegal. So when the king moves, queen takes queen, and that is a win of a queen for black. Uh, this one is, again, to do with the sort of hidden diagonal here. So the two queens are facing each other, but something's in the way. And so white's best move here is to play rook to d8, which is attacking the black king. It's check. Of course, the king has to get out a check. So king takes the rook. But now the white queen has nothing in the way and can capture on e1. So you would have won a queen for a rook, which is usually enough to win the game. Three points if you got that one. Uh, white has checkmate here in three. This is to do with forcing the king to the corner, and then it will look a little bit like the very first puzzle. So the rook and the queen are attacking f7. It's what we call a battery in chess. So two pieces or more attacking the same square. So queen here takes f7. The king cannot capture because of the rook on f1. The king would have to go across to h8. Queen to f8 is then check. The only legal move for black would be rook takes queen. And then finally, the white rook from f1 captures on f8, and it's a back rank checkmate. I'll let you pause that for a sec if you just want to work that one out in your head. And then this one here. Now, earlier in this, uh, we had what's called a smothered mate, when a king is surrounded by pieces and a knight gives the checkmate. And this is very similar. The move to play here is queen to g8, check. The king cannot take the queen because the bishop on a2 is defending. So the only legal move for black is to play rook takes on g8. And then the knight hops into f7 from where it attacks the black king. And these three possible escape squares are all blocked. So that's that one. Uh, this one might have been the hardest of the lot. Uh, it's just worth noticing if this black queen was on this square d1, it would actually already be checkmate. The other thing to notice is the queen and king on the same diagonal. So one of the things we look for in chess is possible traps and tricks based on things being on the same lines. So the right move is to put the bishop to b5 for black, which is threatening the queen to d1, which is checkmate. It's also threatening to take the queen. Now, the queen 
cannot move off of this diagonal because it would be check. The bishop would hit the king. And so you have no choice as white. The only thing you can do is play queen takes bishop, uh, queen takes b5, pawn takes, and you've just lost your queen for a bishop. That's it. You cannot stop the threat of bishop takes queen and queen to d1 checkmate. That's a real tricky one, which is why it was five points. Uh, this one is checkmate in two moves. And the key thing here is that there are is a white bishop pointing at h8 and the white queen and the white rook. And so the move is queen to h8 check. The rook is protecting the queen, so the king cannot capture. And after bishop takes queen, rook takes, it's check again. And the bishop on b2 is now protecting the rook. And so that's checkmate. King cannot take the rook. And this square here is guarded by the bishop. It's a complicated one. So again, press pause if you want to, just to work that one out in your head. Uh, this was the tricky one. Now, what white has to do is get the pawn to the end to become a queen and make black sacrifice the rook to get rid of the queen. Um, and the only way to do it is to put this white rook all the way to h8. And now what you're threatening to do is play the pawn forward to become a queen. And if rook takes queen, rook takes rook. And rook and king against a king is an easy win. If after the rook goes to h8, black plays rook takes here on a7, white has rook to h7 check, attacking the king. And when the king moves, the rook can capture on a7. So you're back to king and rook against king. And uh, finally, rook to h8. If black starts checking the white king, the white king slowly just diagonals its way back towards the white, uh, the black rook. And eventually the rook will run out of checks because the king will be right next to it. So that's a real toughie, but uh, rook to h8. And uh, that is the winning move. And this is the last one. Very similar. The key thing here is that this, what we call a passed pawn, um, is nearly at the end. We just need as white to distract these pieces. And so the right move is queen to e5, which is check. And whatever black chooses to do, wherever black moves the king or puts the pawn in the way we play king, uh, queen takes rook, queen takes queen, and then the pawn goes to c7. And there is no way at all for black to stop white getting a queen on the next move. Uh, the best that black can do is perhaps play queen takes pawn, rook takes queen, and you end up with white being a whole rook ahead. So that's a tricky one. Queen to e5, check. King moves or pawn gets in the way. Queen takes rook, queen takes queen, push the pawn and white will be winning because they will be a rook ahead. So we'll have results um, somehow, maybe, maybe email to tutors or in assembly. Well done to everyone that took part. Hope you quite enjoyed that. Some really easy ones and some rather tricky ones, uh, but all good fun. All right. Cheers.